Katie Holmes bundles up warm as she hails a cab after girls' lunch with producer pal Jane Rosenthal in New York City. She's celebrating her 39th birthday on Monday. And Katie Holmes ensured she toasted the last birthday of her 30s in a suitably glamorous style as she enjoyed a girl's lunch with her producer pal Jane Rosenthal at St. Ambrose's Restaurant in New York City's Upper East Side on Sunday. The actress was ready to brave the cold in freezing Manhattan as she bundled up warm in a blue pea coat and distressed jeans. Katie and Jane, 61, who co-founded Tribeca Productions with actor Robert De Niro were spotted hailing a cab outside the eatery after enjoying their bite to eat. The star completed her ensemble with a brown fedora hat that she pulled on over her pixie-cut raven tresses. Katie accessorized with a large pair of sunglasses and wore a brown leather handbag across her body. It looked like the Dawson's Creek alum had been doing some Christmas shopping as she was toting the large white carrier bag. Jane wore a black and white pay coat with an unusual tasseled edge. Katie celebrated her birthday with her family on Saturday by cheering on the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden where the NBA team beat the Oklahoma City under 111-96. She sat courtside with her daughter, Siri Cruz, 11, her nephew Joey Freddy, and her parents Kathleen and Martin Holmes, capturing a snap she posted on Instagram. Katie is becoming more open about her relationship with actor Jamie Foxx. She celebrated her both 50th birthday at a massive bash for friends and family at the Highlight Room in Hollywood on December 13. The couple were first linked romantically in August 2013, a little over a year after Katie divorced Tom Cruise, 55. They had been married for almost six years and share fury. For years, Katie and Jamie had insisted they were just friends until they were pictured holding hands in public for the first time while they strolled at the beach in September. It has been claimed Tom included a clause in their 2012 divorce settlement banning Katie from publicly dating for five years.